Now you might remember this from a few weeks ago. We put a new screen in it and got that one up and running again. But when I tried to connect it to the old Wii U, it was not displaying on the TV. Now at the time, I didn't really worry too much about it. But given it's just sitting there doing nothing, and I don't need a second pad, I figured we might try and work out what's going on with that. So first things first, TV on. Now we can confirm. HDMI is plugged into the Wii U and that same cable is that one there plugged into the TV I've already been over and we made sure that they are plugged in correctly hit the power our pad turns on it turns on the Wii as well here pairing up and making disc noises so put display on there nothing on that we are in the correct HDMI port so before we go fiddling around with the hardware there is actually some software settings you can check. When you go, Wii U menu, still nothing. So it's actually prompted us straight away with this. Cable connected in the Wii U console to the TV has been changed. Do you want to change your settings to reflect this? Let's go change. So it's automatically configured at HDMI 10 EP 16 by 9. Is this correct? Ah, it is correct. So I haven't changed anything else apart from the settings on here and it's come straight back on now you do get the option of changing it in here manually with all of these different settings as well if you've got an old tv that can't support that 1080p and if the automatic doesn't work you can change it all in there same for non hdmi you can see that's on and quite happy so we know Old Faithful's all good. So that's fine for my gamepad. I now want to link this one to it so we can see that this one works. And if it works, I can sell it. We've got this little red button here. You press that. And it's all about syncing controllers. It does say to pair a Wii U gamepad, press the sync button on the Wii U console again. And it does this. We've also got the sync button on the back of the actual gamepad. So you press that one too. So we get all these little symbols on screen. So let's line these up. There you go. Now before we get stuck into the testing of the gamepad, shout out to our sponsor today, PCBWay, the go-to site for custom-made PCBs. It could be something simple and small like this tiny one here. Jump online to get quotes on standard or advanced PCB printing. Or if you're not into the printing side of things, check out the online store packed full of merch, tools or toys. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Maybe I'll play a little bit of Zelda just to make sure all the buttons on it do work. Now I haven't played this Zelda in forever so I'm going to be totally useless at this right now. But just for the sake of seeing this gamepad works. Let's give it a run for old time's sakes and see the hero of the seas in action. I oh, was to say that I did a rubbish job of playing Zelda, but the good news is, gamepad held up. Still working, tested all the sticks, all the buttons, triggers, everything. Another one, saved. So, we're all done for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We shall see you in the next one.